What's up, guys? Welcome to day eight of our mini course of how to successfully buy insurance leads. And by successfully buying insurance leads, what I mean is having a nice, big, fat ROI when you're buying them, right? Like you, you don't want fat in that many areas of your life. You want <laughs> fat with ROIs, right? You do. Um, we're talking about appointment setting. There's so much to be said about appointment setting. I think it segues super well after what we talked about the previous two days with scripting and tonalities. Agreed. Um, Glenn, what do the people need to know about appointment setting? I think uh, top of mind with appointment setting, and, and again, thinking back as an agent myself, I think I think being concise, being being shorter and to the point is is a, a big key to success here. I think a lot of people drafted and like, again, if you're, especially if you're trying to, if, if the appointment setting is for a face-to-face -face sales appointment, this is the argument I always make. If you are only selling face-to-face -face and you're getting on the phone with a prospect and the goal is to set an appointment so you can then sell them face-to-face, -face, why would you talk about really anything else? Why would you like, like sometimes a little bit of rapport building is okay, but getting into a 10 or 15 minute phone call or 20 minute phone call to try to set an appointment that can be set in three to five minutes, in my opinion, is completely asinine. You might talk yourself out of the sale. You're wasting your time when you could potentially be setting more appointments, right? If I'm setting an appointment potentially in three to five minutes and I'm spending 20 minutes on the phone with someone, you also don't know too, once you get out, to that prospect's house, who knows what could come up in regards to being able to, to actually close that person. So, you know, later later in my career, it got to the point where I was, I, I didn't really want to do much of really anything on that call except set that appointment, you know, and and being very direct, hey, Mrs. Jones, this this was my favorite line from my appointment setting script. And there's so many different scripts, you guys, that, that you can use, that you can find. You got to really make it your own. But my favorite line, whenever I got pushback, when I'm trying to set that appointment, you know, hey, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to be in your area. Or, hey, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to be just down the street from you actually around this time anyways. Does 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. work better for you? And, and just giving them that A, B option. You know, it's, I'm not, I'm not asking Mrs. Jones, Hey, you know, what does Friday look like for you? Do you think I could stop by on a Friday? Would, would that be okay? Like that is like, nope, no, do not come over. Like that's the answer to, to that type of open-ended question. If you really just want to set that appointment, in my opinion, it's got to be like an AB, you know, Hey, Friday at 10 AM or 2 PM. And, and sometimes, again, if, if the objection to that was something truly like, well, I'm going to be out of town Friday, Glenn. Okay, at that point, I'm a little more fluid with what I'm trying to do. But most of these seniors, especially if we're talking about the older group, 70 plus, they're home. They're home all day, every day. They're not going anywhere. They've got nowhere to go. You know, not trying to be rude or mean. I'm just telling you the, the facts that I've seen personally is that they're home, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's funny because I use the exact same scripting when it, when it comes to scheduling appointments, when I would go out to yeah. appointments, you know, it, it would yeah. always be, I'm going to be out in your area. And I remember um, when I learned this script in particular, the way it was kind of jammed into my head was like, I don't care how many times you have to say it. I'm going to be out in your area. Say it multiple times. You know, right. like if you get kickback, it's like, well, you know, just like, just like Glenn said, it's like, well, you know, it's really no trouble for me. I'm actually going to be out that way anyway, because like I said, I'm going to be out in your area. You know, like you just you <laughs> keep like reiterating it. I yes. had, I had calls sometimes where I would say it four or five times. <laughs> Give me pushback. I'd be like, well, the fact of the matter is, is I'm going to be out in your area, you know, like, and so often we would get the appointment scheduled because I'm going to be out in their area. So say it multiple times, circle it back around. If you have to overcome an objection, overcome the objection and then cap it off with, I'm going to be out in your freaking area, Mr. Jones, you know, yes. and and that's the that's the real point you want to really hammer in with them is like the convenience factor, right? I'm going to be there, and off and 
and and I get agents asking all the time, what if I'm not going to be out there? Neither was I. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm, it could be your first appointment. Maybe you're trying to set that first appointment and then maybe you will be in yeah, that area, right? Yeah. I mean, like, like, <laughs> be like, be like, I wasn't planning to five minutes ago, but now I'm going yeah, to be in now the I will be, yeah. You know, like, so they don't need to know that. The other thing is you, I, I think what I've always found really important with scheduling appointments is you want to sound busy, right? So like, I think leaving it too open ended, like Glenn said, from the standpoint of like, I got all week open. Yeah. When are you going to be free? Anytime. Mrs. Yeah. You know, like be like, I'm available Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday. You know, you're like, and the client's like, oh, this, 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 this poor schmuck has nothing going on. You know, I'm the only person that's entertaining meeting with them. Maybe I should rethink this. Click. Right. So right. make yourself sound busy. Make yourself sound incredibly busy. You know, be like, you know, the, you know, if, sometimes if you hit the client with what about Friday at 11? Well, I might not be home Friday at 11. And then, but sometimes if they're actually really interested, they'll throw back at you. When are you going to be here again? That's a question you kind of get a lot. I'm like, well, it kind of depends on the day, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and, and, you know, they might go, well, what about Thursday? I, my Thursday is completely wide open. I have nothing, let's say, hypothetically. I'm going to go... Thursday's kind of packed, but I do have a 1030, you know, and sure. you want to sound busy. Perception is reality, especially so this with this is, uh, This reminds me of an old door knocking trick. Okay. So this is like a bonus in this video. We should already be done with this, with this video, but I'm going <laughs> to yeah, give you guys did. a bow because Christian just triggered something for me. So I, this used to be how this was something I was taught, and I thought it was insane when I got taught this, but it was <laughs> unbelievable how much this worked. You so cold door knock again. That I did that for years. You go up, and I watched I watched my trainer at the time do it. And he so he'd go up, he'd knock on the door, and then he would take about three or four or five steps, and then he'd turn around. And he had a clipboard, and he's just writing on his clipboard. <laughs> so they so they open the door. And their first, the first thing that they see is some dude with his back to the door, <laughs> and and then they and he makes them say the first. Th so he's not even paying attention. You know, it's like, oh, hello. It's like, oh, 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 hey, yeah. <laughs> it's, but again, it's the perception of, oh, this dude looks like he's really busy. Like, what's he's going busy. on here? It's a, it's a thing. It really is a thing. And, I, and appointment setting is very much so it works the same way. That is awesome. I yeah. really want to like, I want to like go up and down my neighborhood now and try that. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's crazy how well it works. You get a clipboard, some papers, you just fluff your papers around, act like you're crazy. Like, ah, what's going on? And, and they just, they get hooked. Like it's this thing. It's a, it's a psychology thing where it's like, what's going on? Why is this, what's this guy doing? One other thing I'll mention too that I, a line that I used a ton that worked. And most agents, if they heard this, would be like, that's stupid. I would never say that. You know, Mrs. Jones, this will this will just take five minutes. It'll take five minutes. Just let me, you know, I'll stop by. I'm going to be down the street anyways. Five minutes. I'll get this information to you. And then, you know, we'll be good to go. And, and a lot of agents will push back on that and be like, well, the appointment takes at least an hour. Why would I tell them five minutes if it takes an hour? I can't tell you how many times. I told someone it was going to take five minutes and I got to the house and I got in the door and then the appointment takes 90 minutes and it didn't matter at all. Right. It, it was just yeah. a, a way of getting in the door. You know, I, I did something similar. Right. I actually when Wolf of Wall Street first came out, I took nice. inspiration from that and I started working something into my scripting. It was like the first time I saw it. I don't remember what year that movie came out. Love it. 2013, 14, something like that. Yeah. There's a line in it where he goes. You know, he, he, someone's buying stock and, you know, he's cl it's like a closing line. So he goes, so, some, I don't remember word for word what he says, but he says something on the lines of, you know, the, the only regret you'll have is that you didn't buy more, right? <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I kind of took that into my appointment and I was like, and I, I would say 15 minutes instead of five. I think he could probably use it for either. But sure. <clears throat> I would say, you know, They'd be like, how long is it going to take? I'd be like, well, Mrs. Jones, obviously I said earlier not to use Mrs. Jones. I'd be like, well, Dorothy, usually these take about 15 minutes. 
to just to kind of determine if I can be of any help. But if I do stay longer, it'll be because you want me to. And I started, Ooh, I, like I, start, I started using that and that helped me a lot, you know, in I like that line a lot in the appointment. And that was like a go to for me for years when I was going on house appointments. And I and I took it really far. <laughs> it it kind of it's kind of a power shift, right? You're, you're basically telling them, like, you can kick me out anytime. Like, yeah. if I stay longer than this time, it's because you want me to stay. You yeah. know, so I, I do. I like that line a lot. Guys, we are at day eight of our 17 day mini course on how to succeed with buying insurance leads. If you are not sure what's going on, check out the previous seven day videos. They will be hosted on Christian Brindle's YouTube channel. You'll be able to find those. We're, we'll also make sure we've got them all over the place on social media. So you'll be able to find all 17 of these mini course videos as we continue to generate these and get these out to you guys. Our $17 exclusive call verified insurance leads for final expense, turning 65 and Medicare supplement. This promotion ends on May 27th. Mm -hmm. Do not miss out on this. It is our biggest discount we've done in years. I don't know if we'll ever have a discount again that's like this. I, I told an agent that already, and I'm saying it to all of you right now. This might be the biggest discount we'll ever do in company history, and I don't know if it'll ever come back again. So <laughs> take advantage of it now. Click the link below. Get your $17 leads. And until next time, you guys, happy selling.